Just imagine if you could live forever, not in body, but in mind. A future where your thoughts, memories, and even your personality exist eternally in a digital form. What would it mean to never truly die? Would it be a gift or a curse? In this video, we'll dive deep into the concept of digital immortality, its promises, dangers, and how close we are to making it a reality. Let's explore. Welcome to Future Tales, where we explore the possibilities of tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Digital immortality refers to the ability to upload a person's mind, memories, emotions, and consciousness into a computer or virtual world. Imagine a future where you could interact with loved ones who have passed away, not as ghosts, but as vibrant digital versions of themselves. But how could this actually work? Let's break it down. Scientists believe that replicating a human mind digitally starts with mapping the brain. The human brain has around 86 billion neurons. Each neuron connects to thousands of others, creating an intricate web of memories, thoughts, and emotions. Advances in AI and brain-computer interfaces are paving the way for this possibility. Could we one day scan and upload all this complexity? While the technology is fascinating, it raises profound ethical questions. If we can replicate a mind, is it still you? And if digital versions of us can live forever, what does that mean for our identity and humanity? Let's pause here, what do you think? Is digital immortality the next big leap or a Pandora's box? Companies like Neuralink and OpenAI are already working on brain-computer interfaces that could eventually make mind uploading possible. While we're far from uploading entire minds, early breakthroughs in decoding brain activity show promise. What about the role of AI? Could it help us simulate consciousness? Imagine a world where the richest people live forever, while others remain bound by mortality. Could this technology widen the gap between the wealthy and the poor even further? And what about overpopulation? If minds live digitally, would there still be room for new generations? If death becomes obsolete, how would we redefine the meaning of life? Would we lose the urgency that makes life meaningful? Or would it open new doors to infinite possibilities? And what happens to the concept of legacy? If everyone lives forever, does anyone truly leave a mark? Is a digital copy of your mind really you? Or just a clone that mimics your thoughts and actions? Philosophers have debated the nature of consciousness for centuries. Could a machine ever truly possess it? Even if we could live forever digitally, what would that do to our mental health? Without the passage of time, would we lose our sense of purpose and connection to reality? Or could we use digital immortality to heal trauma and live richer, more fulfilling lives? Most religions view death as a natural transition. How would digital immortality challenge these beliefs? Would this technology be embraced as a way to preserve wisdom and pass it on to future generations? AI could be the key to recreating realistic, conscious-like behaviors in digital minds. But what happens if AI evolves beyond our control? Would it manipulate digital minds for its own agenda? Or could AI help us perfect this technology, ensuring it benefits humanity? Fast forward a hundred years, could humanity evolve into a society of digital beings? Would we lose what makes us human or redefine humanity altogether? These are the questions we must grapple with as we stand on the brink of a digital revolution. What happens if the systems hosting our digital minds fail? A power outage, a hack? Would it mean the end of our existence? And then there's data corruption. If a part of your memories gets damaged, are you still you? Cybersecurity becomes more critical than ever. Imagine if someone could steal or manipulate your mind. Could digital immortality create new societal divides? The digitals versus the biologicals? What happens when the elite control immortality, leaving the rest of humanity behind? Could we see conflicts between those who embrace technology and those who resist it? If your mind exists digitally, could corporations own or monetize your consciousness? What happens if digital versions of people are forced to work endlessly in virtual environments? How do we ensure freedom for digital beings, especially when they lack physical presence? 
While immortality sounds enticing, could living forever lead to eternal boredom? Without an end, would we lose appreciation for the fleeting moments that make life beautiful? Or could we find meaning in creating and evolving endlessly within the digital realm? One possible scenario, a utopia where digital immortality leads to endless creativity, connection, and growth. Another scenario, a dystopia where society fractures and digital beings are exploited or isolated. Or perhaps a middle ground where digital and physical lives coexist, each complementing the other. Is digital immortality the next step in human evolution? Or are we playing with forces we can't control? Should we embrace the promise of eternal life or focus on making the most of the time we already have? As we venture into this unknown, one thing is certain, digital immortality could change everything. At its core, the pursuit of digital immortality isn't just about technology, it's about our desire to transcend the limits of life. It's a reflection of our fear of death, our longing for connection, and our hope for something greater. But is the essence of humanity tied to our mortality, or can it flourish in a digital form? Imagine reuniting with lost loved ones in a virtual realm, a bittersweet comfort or an unsettling imitation. Could digital immortality help us preserve memories and stories, ensuring they're never forgotten? Or would it make us cling to the past, preventing us from fully living in the present? As we edge closer to this possibility, the question isn't just if we can, but if we should. How do we ensure this technology benefits everyone and doesn't create new forms of inequality? What ethical frameworks must we build now to prepare for this radical future? Whether digital immortality becomes reality or not, one thing remains constant, our legacy as humans. Our stories, our connections, and our ability to dream are what define us. As we stand on the brink of this transformation, let's not lose sight of what makes life truly meaningful. The future is in our hands. Will we shape it responsibly or let it slip into chaos? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts. Together, we'll shape the stories of tomorrow. Whether we live for a moment or an eternity, what truly matters is how we live, connect, and love. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the unknown. The future is ours to create.